It's a big day for BlackBerry. The company's latest smartphone, the Q10, hits stores in the Toronto area today. And consumers across Canada will be able to get their hands on the new model later this week. The new Q10 has both a touchscreen and a keyboard. BlackBerry has struggled to, say, to stay ahead in the smartphone race. So all eyes will be watching to see how the Q10 does in the marketplace. Haver Gould has more. Without ceremony, the phone that may decide BlackBerry's fate quietly began showing up in stores today. When BlackBerry unveiled its new operating system and phones, the Z10 got a much bigger splash, in part because it's aimed at consumers, and in part because it went on sale in short order. While the Q10, with the traditional BlackBerry keyboard many business customers find appealing, is only now becoming available. There's no denying that a lot of uh, uh, traditional BlackBerry loyalists, loyalists really like the keyboard, so I think uh, it's a great thing that they're finally getting this device out. Reviewers seem to like it. The keyboard tweaked. The keys are actually a little bit bigger than on the uh, Bold 9900, its, uh, its predecessor, uh, and uh, the keys aren't curved. They're, they're all in a straight line and a straight grid, so it takes a little bit of adjustment, but uh, not a lot in my experience. Many BlackBerry customers have been waiting for the Q10 before making a decision about upgrading or switching. We're actually seeing better demand for the Q10 than we saw initially with the Z10. BlackBerry hopes that holds. It still has about 78 million subscribers, but to survive, it needs the Q10 to keep its core customers happy and bring in more. I'm into it, yeah, it's cool. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto. It's only the first day of the month, but investors are already adhering to the old market adage, sell in May and go away. The TSX dropped 135 points. In New York, the Dow fell 135 points, and the Nasdaq was down about 30 points. The Canadian dollar slipped only slightly. Oil fell more than 2 bucks a barrel, and gold was down $17.